Hi, I'm Tom Dempsey, and I'm here for True Fire's November Rhythm Jamboree. And I want to share with you a couple of very simple bossa nova comping rhythms. Um, any jazz guitar player or other guitar players uh, will encounter bossa nova rhythm in the course of their musical lives. And I often hear a lot of guitar players play this style, and they don't do it so authentically. So I think it's good to have a couple of good authentic bossa nova rhythms um, as part of your repertoire so that you can be able to access them. So there's a couple things to realize about bossa nova. First of all, it comes from samba. And so a lot of the traditions of samba are part of the traditions of the bossa nova. So one of the things that happens in samba is that you have, uh, in a samba band, you have this drum called the surdo drum, which is kind of this big low end kind of drum. And that's responsible for the basic pulse. Now, when you take a listen to or look at maybe some sheet music for bossa nova tunes, you might see them written in 4-4. The feel of bossa nova and how we want to get used to feeling it is in two. So if it's in 4-4, like one, two, three, four, we want to be able to feel it like one, two, one, two. Another thing that's important to realize about bossa nova is that that two beat feel, which is the surdo drum feel, has its emphasis on the second beat. So when we're playing it, it's going to be like one, a two, da -dum -da -gum, a -dum -da -gum. and that second beat, or the, the surdo drum beat, rather, is represented by the bass note, which we're gonna play with our thumb. So one, a two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, syncopation is a very much a part of the sound of bossa nova, and where we're going to get that syncopation is with the rest of the chords. So right now I'm playing this F major nine chord. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by just going, so I play the bass note and the chord together on beat one, and then the chord again, so it's ba, ba, and then I'm going to separate it. So it's one, two, three, and four, or one, one, two, and one, two, and. You notice I'm having a slight more of an emphasis on the second beat. So if I take that and apply that to the chords to a, a very famous uh, Jobim tune called Girl from Ipanema. I'm going to have my F major 9, my G9, my G minor 9, to say my C13, to an F major 9, and then to a G flat 9. So if I were to play this rhythm, it'd be like The second rhythm that we're going to have is going to do two things. First of all, instead of starting right on the downbeat with the um, chord, we're going to start with a syncopation. Now the bass note is going bass is going to stay the same, but we're going to instead of going to the root all the time, we're going to alternate between the root and the fifth. One. So the fifth is going to be on the second part of the beat. So if I go, so it's an it's an inversion of the previous rhythm. First rhythm was, now we're gonna start. Okay, so if I take this, those same chords from that chord progression, it'd be like this.
Now, I could have also played, I just, when I got to that C13, I just stayed on there. Um, I could have gone, I could also play a C7 like this and get the root and the fifth. Any one of those kinds of combinations will work really well. Once you get those, then you can start to experiment with maybe some arpeggiation of chords. If I was going, even, or different kinds of rhythms. And you mix them up a little. But the important thing is getting that consistent surdo drum beat happening and getting a nice steady pulse with the kind of the extra emphasis on the second beat. Uh, again, these, this whole progression, this whole uh, lesson basically comes from that course in True Fire. I've got a few other rhythms there, bossa nova rhythms, samba rhythms that you can check out as well. Uh, but if you can get this one down, it can really serve as sort of a springboard for other rhythms to come. So. Hope you got something out of this and uh, hope you're staying safe and healthy and I hope to uh, one day meet you on the bandstand or in one of my courses. I've got a number of courses on True Fire. I also teach privately for True Fire. I'm also working on uh, building out my channel so I hope to have that launched sometime very soon. And uh, thanks for checking out my lesson.